Let's evaluate some expressions um, using exponential notation. So this first one, x squared for x equals 2. All we're going to do is substitute the 2 in for x. So we're going to, instead of writing the x, we're going to write a 2. So you're going to put 2 squared, and we need to evaluate that. So 2 squared is the same thing as 2 times 2 which is the same thing as 4. Now remember the exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. So in this case we're substituting 2 in for the base which is x. So the exponent 2 is telling us to multiply the base 2 times itself twice. So 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, this next one, y squared for y equals 4. So we're going to substitute the 4 in for the y. So it becomes 4 squared. And the squared, the 2, or 4 to the second power is another way to read that. But the 2 tells you that 4 is going to be multiplied by itself. So you're going to have 2 of the 4s. Okay, so 4 times 4 is going to give you 16. Okay, this one's a little bit different. You have y to the 4th power plus 3 for y equals 2. So the first thing you do is substitute in the 2 for the y, and everything else remains the same. And now the 4... The exponent of 4 tells you to multiply 2, and you keep multiplying by 2 until you have 4 of them. So the exponent 4 says 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then you still have to add 3 at the end. Okay, so then you have 2 times 2, which is 4 and then 4 times 2, and I'll just add that on there, times 2, which is 8, and then 8 times 2, which is going to be 16, and then you're adding the 3 to the 16 to get 19. Okay, now this one, 3a and all of that's in parentheses r raised to the third power. So the exponent tells you to multiply everything in parentheses because everything in the parentheses is going to be your base. So you have to multiply 3a times 3a times 3a. So you're not just multiplying the a three times, you're multiplying everything in the parentheses because everything in the parentheses is raised to the third power. So you have 3a times 3a times 3a. And now we're going to substitute the 2 in for the a because we're evaluating for a equals 2. So it's 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. So you have 6 times 6 times 6. And when we multiply those together, we'll get our answer. Now 6 times 6, that's 36. And I'm going to do this over here. So the 6 times 6 is 36. And then we still have to multiply that by another 6. So we have 6 times 6, which is 36. And 6 times 3, which is 18, plus another 3. So you have 216. And that's our answer, 216. Okay, now the last one here, we have 3a cubed, and now notice there's no parentheses, so this exponent is only going to affect the base that's right next to it, which is the a. 
So it's going to be 3 times a times a times a. So this exponent 3 only affects the a. And now we substitute a 2 in for the a's. So it's going to be 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 3 times 8, right? 2 times 2 is 4. And that 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 3 times 8 will give you a 24. And that's your answer for that one. Okay, I hope this is starting to make sense for you.